What's up guys? 7.5 cheek pistol. This is 5.56, just some cheapo Tula. Uh, pretty cheap, crappy ammo. Uh, but just want to demo that out of a 7.5 AR with just a, a red dot here, this is a 5.07C on here, um, and cheap ammo that holds no better than 3 MOA, you can still make hits on a target at a significant distance. So uh, in the background there, all the way to the right of the screen, you should be able to make out just barely a little silhouette target. So it's not a full size silhouette. This is a 12 by 20 steel. So it's a four by four inch head with a 12 by 16 body. Uh, so I'm not gonna use the sling. I'm just gonna offhand uh, put some shots on there and uh, we'll get some hits. So there's a hit. Now, if I bench this gun, obviously I can do a lot better. That's just standing relaxed, no sling, not putting any tension on the gun. Let's bench it off a barricade, see if we can do better. Hopefully you guys can hear that ping on the camera, but that's you know, one shot, one hit, as long as I have any stability. Notice I'm not even loading into that barricade, uh, just resting the front of the gun. If I get a little bit of support on the muzzle end of that, I can make stuff happen. So uh, terminal ballistics wise, guys, uh, you guys ask about this all the time. First question was about accuracy. Uh, can you still make like carbine length or carbine distance hits with this gun? Absolutely can. As you saw, even with a three, probably closer to a four MOA um, grouping that this is capable of with this cheap ammo. Yeah, I can do that in, in a single shot from a brace position, um, you know, barricade, barricaded position. But terminal ballistics wise, what is this doing downrange at 300 yards? Um, this is probably not going to have enough energy to penetrate 3A armor, but it is gonna have plenty of energy to through and through any meat target that is man-sized. Inside of 150 yards with any FMJ ammo, the steel penetrators, and even a lot of the ballistic tip projectiles and soft point projectiles commonly used for self-defense, uh, these are going to go through a 3A panel all the way through a man-sized meat target and lodge in the back of that 3A panel or the, the panel that's on the back of that target. So still very capable, um, armor capable out to 150, uh, but it's going to go all the way through a man-sized meat target at 300 yards. And it's plenty precise enough to do so. Last reminder, at this distance, the vast majority of the threats that you will encounter are going to have maybe enough training to make this hit on a man-sized target if they are barricaded, braced up, fully healthy, and in a relaxed state. If they have a hole through them, you are very likely diminishing them to the point where they can no longer return fire at you with any kind of precision. So is it capable at 300 yards? Well, for the job we're doing, absolutely yes. All right, guys, here's the size of that target that we were shooting at at 300 yards. Uh, so you can see this is narrower than I am uh, if my arms were removed and quite a bit shorter than my torso actually is. Uh, now, that was uh, one shot, one hit at 300 as soon as I put that against any kind of you know barricade to stabilize off of. Um, but even from a relaxed standing position, my first shots of the day, that was my first five shots of the day today, uh, the one of the first four from standing, relaxed, no sling tension, still able to make a hit. 
So yeah, 7.5 AR guys, it's, uh, it's still a very capable platform.